Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much, Cancerian, for being here. I do hope you're well. We're going to take a look at your past, future, and current energy in... Uh, it's between love and money, of course. <laughs> between love and money. I'm not taking these cards. I don't feel it. I feel the page of swords may be significant here. But the page of swords is my gone with the wind fabulous and it could be the way how you're standing up for yourself you're speaking up you're taking charge you are sticking up for yourself more than ever before you're equipped with the tools and that it takes to really stand up for yourself here and to to be who you are to embrace you meaning to speak out to express yourself to live your truth and to live authentically gone with the wind fabulous all right not backing down not letting opinions of others deter you not letting the naysayers influence you negatively that's the energy of the page of swords energy could be a message coming into you some clarity C clarity i hear cutting out like you're cutting through the veil cutting through right through the veil of illusion veils a veil a thick veil of illusion that was possibly laid across in in your midst and now you're seeing clear skies all right so we're taking a look and concerns at past current future do remember that these are general messages and so all the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies consider it and the rest let it fly all right, let's get started. Okay, thank you. So remember that this is love and money. We have the Queen of Swords blocking, alone, focusing, visualizing, being defiant. All right. <coughs> Being um the ruler of your own world, it feels your own like having integrity, knowing who you are, having your boundaries set up. It's that kind of energy. No one can really test you right now. You feel strong, powerful. There is a certain amount of grace around you. You could have children around you still loving you. Like the children around you are the softest aspects of you right now. When it comes down to business. You're doing what you have to do to stay on top of your game. I feel you're literally floating here too because the Queen of Swords is a is an air sign. I do feel you're up in the air. You're, you're floating. It's, you're like you're taking things lightly. I do feel. I've never felt this way on this card, but you're taking things easy. You're in the air. You're gliding. You feel good. You're you're watching over your kingdom. You still have a place in you that's happy. But you're not letting anyone and anything come into your space right now, though. You know, you're very focused. Um, exactly. Hey. You're not letting anyone and, and just anyone and anything come into your space right now with the four hearts. You are within your heart space, aligning with you. So while you're, you're, you are putting on this front of like, you're like, stay away. I'm not interested in love or your communication or your like, listen, no. I, the only thing I have space for right now is love for my family and love for my business and whatever it is I'm focusing on here. Whatever this is that's crowning you and grounding you, that's what you're focusing on. All right? Something that's grounding you. I do. I did say you're up in the sky floating around Cancerian, but you're, you're grounded. It's like you're meditating. You're on the ground, but you feel like you're floating. And that's the kind of energy of focus that you have right now. Not, not accepting love and offers from others, but really sitting in your heart space, learning to realign. And that is what you're doing behind the surface. Okay. Some of you could, oh, look at this. Now we have the king of swords. <clears throat> and this is your current energy. So in the past, you were blocking, all right, and loving. In the, and now you're even more militant. It's like, no, as if I thought the journey would end here. This, the past energy was only readying you up for the, the journey ahead. Now you have to be even more militant ahead on your journey, all right? So you have a couple more years to go 
or that was your that was just that was your first experience in something i know you want more so know you have to know you have to really focus with the king of swords here i do feel intuition here and you're moving swiftly things are happening fast for you when you're serious and you're determined about what it is that you want things move quickly within your favor i do feel like the universe is lining up things for you now in your future we have the knight of wands moving i hear escaping escape traveling roaming beseeching going after something your desires this could be a person that may want to return to you cancerian all right you may block this connection i feel you may use your laser sharp eyes to how focused you are you may laser this person out of your like you see them coming a mile away and you are so focused laser laser lights beam out of your eyes even the sword feels like power here there's so much power <laughs> sorry oh my gosh there's so much power within you when it comes to your focus it feels like you're able to laser beam out of your eyes here i'm serious and there's power within this sword there's a weapon that you have a tool that is so powerful when you want something you're able to get it and when you don't want something to come into your presence and interfere with you you're able to block that out easily you're able to move past situations too you know kind of easily you're able you're able to overcome all right you're a survivor i hear you're a champion okay the Knight of Wands. Let's see. What is the Knight of Wands energy in Cancerian's reading? <laughs> this offer of love may be coming from a past love connection. One that you blocked, of course. Can um Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Earth sign. Okay, so we see. What is the Knight of Wands in Cancer's future energy? What is the Knight of Wands? What is coming in? Is something coming in? Escaping. I hear escaping again. We have the Six of Pentacles. Could be money. Escaping. A plan to escape and come to you. Could be someone. It could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Plan to escape and steal away to come back to you. And then you're going to like... I feel you're blocking this person. Let's go deeper. The sun energy. Clarifying the queen of swords. So I feel yeah, you have children around you. You're happy. You're giving thanks. You have a lot to be thankful for. Listen, you're floating in the sky. That's the sun energy. You're radiating and resonating with powers of the universe here. It's beautiful. You're standing out. You have success and prosperity, but it's just that you're not accepting love. Some of you could be single um, right now, and it's okay. And the seven of swords. Someone wanted to steal your joy away from you. I feel this, the sun energy. I feel this person was literally blinded. They, they opened the door to steal your joy, and when they opened the door, they were blinded by the light of the sun and the heat oh, they were not ready and so maybe you block this thief you're on your journey alone and you're defending or protecting your your prosperity your success your abundance here all right in your future with the knight of wands we have pisces energy maybe this is a pisces that want to return Maybe this is saying that you see this person coming. I hear lay down and surrender to the charm or to the desires or the passion. Someone may want to charm you, sweet talk you, give gifts to you in the future. But you have your ten of swords here. You have your pentacles here. You're, I feel you're solid. This person may come in and say they're healed. They may come in healed with the star. I do feel like this could be some blessing coming into you as well cancer and it feels like with the star coming toward you an inspiration it could be an inspiration when you meditate 
possibly having to do with a gift that you have because the star is represented in the six of pentacles and in the star energy. The star is Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So healing and well-being, maybe healing your finances. The sun is here again. So that's financial prosperity and abundance for you. Healing. I feel this is healing. This could be a business opportunity coming around for you to use your gifts and your talents, your psychic abilities to really find balance in your finances. Maybe that's what you're really focusing on now. But in, and in the future, you'll have this opportunity to shine with the star energy, to shine using your gifts. Okay, there's an opportunity coming in, opportunity coming in. I felt like I didn't say the word entire properly. Because see, this jack, every reading this jack comes out for you. Someone is spying on you. They want to know what's going on. This is recruiter energy as well. Someone is watching you to see how you do. Some people are actually learning from you too, Cancerian. Learning about the work that you do. Observing you. They see how... They see how gifted you are with the Ten of Pentacles. And they're watching your gifts, your talents here. They're looking, they're not even seeing you. They're seeing your talents. They're seeing what you do, your work, the Three of Pentacles. And your work feels like sunshine. It literally feels like sunlight. When someone looks, they have to probably look through a, a gla um, wear, wear, wear shades to see you. All right, to, to, to behold you. It's amazing. I'm, I mean, I'm not just fanning up your head. There's something amazing about you. When you step out, maybe when you smile or something, you're so radiant and so powerful. You have many gifts. It's like you twinkle. You're so beautiful. You feel like a magical being and this person watching you sees that. This person could be from high, a higher realm as, as well that sees you, an angelic essence that's watching you to see how you hold up. To see if you're being true, if you're being authentic, if you're using your own intuition. But it's not going to be much longer before this person realizes that you are. Because there's no way, that you, no way you could be faking this, alright? And so in the future, whoever this recruiter is or this spy, they may decide to actually physically come into your world, reach out to you. So keep doing what you're doing. Be, be beautiful. Work your magic. Float. Meditate. Be sunlight. Work with children. It could, be, it could have something to do with the work you do with children here. The joys. The joys of flourishing and life itself you bring with your beautiful self, Cancerian. Some of you are literally traveling and moving away, reconnecting with your old tribes, perhaps. Okay, going back to your tribe, having a lot to do with the sun energy. And then look, an offering coming into you, an offering of emotional satisfaction and love, appreciation and joy here. Any last messages for Cancerian? Any final messages? Any messages? Any messages? Yes, the four of wands, a partnership, a business connection that's going to make you happy. I do feel business money contemplation not taking it the queen and king of wands the six of pentacles repeated overseeing judgment the queen of cups that's you a past love returning to you a soulmate a past soulmate a past life soulmate a person reconnecting with a past energy it's like someone you knew in a different lifetime and you're going to realize that you knew this person before you are so effing powerful and strong right now sitting as the king of cups emotionally balanced and visualizing and looking for what you want looking to you may be the one wanting to reconnect with this love of your life the six of cups feels like the love of your life you may be getting an opportunity to do so with the judgment and the ace of swords card an opportunity coming directly to you wisdom courage strength and intelligence an opportunity to be in a place or to say something or to put out something to give something some to someone 
And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. You could be connecting with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. We have Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. I'm going to leave your reading here. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician, which is saying you do have the power to manifest what you want. This is Magician energy as well. The Three of Wands. This is the card of manifestation. And looking at all you have manifested, Cancer, and you deserve this. You deserve these gifts and this balance and so use them well offer your gifts to the world speak use your talents this is your talent your gifts higher intelligence it's christ energy christ consciousness awakeness speak and write out what you desire who you are and then that's how you offer it to the world thank you so much for watching i do hope you found messages here that resonates with you and is able to help guide you along your journey thank you so much for coming through cancer and i love you right um do um if you like this video and you found messages here that resonates with you please do um compliment the video by leaving a thumbs up sharing the video with those you love and subscribing to my channel for more videos in the future and i'll see you next time remember that you're all and all is within you much love